I'm going to show you five fantastic hidden features on the WizPoints app that you may have not known about. Adding point notes in question view. Open up any point sheet and by long pressing on the question or long pressing on the answer would allow you to view or enter notes to that particular point. Long pressing the question brings up the start points notes and allows you to enter notes or edit those notes. Long pressing on the answer brings up the end points notes and then again allows you to enter or delete or edit. When viewing the sheet, if you see any start or finish point that's illuminated blue, it means that that point is carrying notes underneath. You can view those notes by long pressing on the question or long pressing on the answer, depending on whether you want to view the start or finish points notes. When revising points, it might be necessary to remove the more popular points, the points that are asked the most, and narrow down the window of the revision that you do so you're focusing purely upon the points that are a little bit more difficult. To do this, in any revision screen, long press the times asked slider. This will allow you to enter a minimum amount of times asked and a maximum amount of times asked. And now you can focus your revision on everything asked more than 10 times but less than 50. The app contains every single point and question from the past two years. So if you want to view any particular day, all you need to do is long press the today slider. This will bring up a box for, and allow you to enter the date that you want to see. The benefit of this is it allows you to view any particular date in history, such as Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, St. George's Day, any day where there may be a theme to the type of questions you're going to be asked. And if your appearance is going to be in the future on one of these particular days, you can see if there's a theme going back in time and actually look at these questions and points to give you an insight to what you may be asked on that particular day when you go for your appearance. PDF. If you look on the questions view of the sheet at the bottom left hand corner next to the revise button, you'll see a PDF button. This will allow you to view and print the sheet in a PDF format for those that like that kind of thing in the classic old PDF view. Many people ask, how can I revise just the points that I've pointed, but not in bike list view? Obviously, bike list view allows you to revise all of the points that you've pointed previously, but does that in chronological order. However, on the main screen of the WizPoints app, if you want to revise just the points that you've pointed previously, you can do that by long press in the statistics box at the bottom of the screen. The first blue box shows you how many points are actually in your app. The second white box pointed shows you exactly how many you have currently pointed from that total list. If you long press that white box, you will then bring up the revision screen and it will allow you to revise just the points that you've pointed so far. And then the same applies if you want to long press the white sticky box or the white unknown box. You would now be revising just the points you're sticky on or just the points that are unknown. Keep an eye on these statistics because they are a great way of visualizing the progress that you've made. We've just released a new version of our app. This is version 1.3.4. This version is just a correction so it works with our new server. You will need to download that version for the app to work from now on. Uh, if you have any issues, you may need to delete your old app and reinstall the new app. But if you're going to do that, please make sure that you did save your data to the cloud previously. If you haven't been saving your data to the cloud, you won't be able to do it until you've installed the new version and are now on the new cloud. So bear that in mind if you're going to choose to delete the app. If you see in the retry button, then you most likely don't have the up-to-date version of the app. For the Android version of the app, you need to go to the Wizan website. You need to go to the point sheets page and you need to download the Android APK file. Once you've downloaded the APK file, it'll be on your phone. You need to make sure the security settings allow you to install it and you can install the Android version from there. I hope those features have given you something to think about and may be useful to you in the future. I am going to make a thorough video of how you use the app correctly and the procedure that I would follow and how I would use it on a day-to-day -day basis. I'll be making that shortly, so watch out for that video next. If there's anything that you want to know if the app can or can't do, put it in the comments below and I'll answer that in the comments below to this video.